It got warm, didn't it? Yes, it did get warm. Good afternoon. Good late afternoon. I know. We're starting work at 3.35, a bunch of lazies. Really, I needed a vacation after my vacation, to be honest with you. But... Yeah, you guys seen. We got back from going to Cherokee for a little while, met up with Rachel's mom. Yeah, I don't know how much we recorded. No, all I recorded was the hike up to Mingo Falls, so yeah. you guys will see that. Just we were just enjoying busy, our time. Busy, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll record more when we make our cross-country trip. Yeah. Or not we'll quite cross-country. It's well, only Texas. It's still pretty far away. Yeah, it's still a lot of driving. A couple yeah. KOAs and yeah, fun couple, times. Couple and guess KOAs. what? This will be the most we've ever taken off in the middle of lawn care season. I know. What is it? Six days all together? Um, I yeah, Wednesday think to so. Wednesday, then we come back to work Tuesday. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're all going all day Monday, right? We start work again Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we won't get home until, like, Monday late, yeah, probably. So. Because we're going to try to make it to, like, I guess, Nashville Sunday night. Well, when we leave, we're and going then, to Little Rock first, right? Yeah, so from from um, North Carolina, we're going to Little Rock, um, like, somewhere in Arkansas. I think it's Little Rock. It's No, it's in a national park. It's a KOA somewhere mm. near Little Rock, I think. Right? Yeah, somewhere near Little Rock. And then, which would... I guess take us about 10 hours and then um the next day then we're gonna wake up and drive the rest of the way to texas which i think should only be like another five or six right yeah arlington texas i think mm -hmm. it's on the west side of dallas yeah so this should be fun yeah and then on the way back we're gonna maybe try to make it to nashville and then we'll see what happens there then wherever we can make it and stop that's dog friendly yeah maybe a koa i don't know we'll see since we've started the lawn care landscaping business we've really only taken like trips to see family and that's usually in the winter yeah so we have off anyway so we can do like a week week and a half normally um but we haven't done that now since 2019 i guess yeah so this will so, be fun this will yeah. be the furthest i've been west yeah yeah but not Rachel. Rachel's been to California. Yeah, I have been to San Francisco, which was really cool experience. But that was only like short, quick too. Yeah. So. So let's get out and mow. I'll show you guys this one. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing diagonal, so maybe I'll record some. But we're gonna be spraying and fertilizing too. So let's okay. go. Yeah. Yeah, there ain't much here. Okay, so we're gonna mow this one. There, it's a lot of spot spraying in this one. Thank goodness. Just spot spraying. Except for his yard has more well, weeds. He, He's, he's been doing it for more years than yeah, he has. So. so, but yeah, he does have some clover. But really, you have a lot of clover out of late ones. Yeah, I he know. just has like some a couple really... violets pop up. Which, and he had an issue with buttonwood in the back, but I don't know if he even has that issue. Anymore. No, probably not. So okay, yeah, let's get mom. Like, the who knows what I mean, you can go pull them all out. Then I don't have to spray. I don't even know what this type of raw beef is. Lettuce. You should eat it. It's not lettuce. Okay, guys. Oh, we are done them too. I sprayed them. We mowed them. And I fertilized them. Pretty, right? Yeah, they do look good. Nice. Good job, boss. We're off to our next two. So All right, guys. So, you know how we say we mow with the weather? Obviously, this one's treated, so we're mowing this one. And then we're going to spray it because you see the couple. There's a corn plant coming up right here, I imagine. That is wild corn. <laughs> Probably from a bird or something. And there's nowhere near what was in here before. This was The whole front of this was buttonwood. The top was buttonwood and the top there. But when we say mow for weather... I can't mow that. If either. you see that, we're supposed to mow this today, and it's 10 days. Yeah. But so we're just going to push this one off. We're going to mow this one, fertilize it, and spray it. But that's the difference when you treat the lawn. And we were actually probably about four weeks late on treating this one for the next app, right? Yeah. Don't forget you're spraying that, too. Oh, she wants all that dead, yeah, too? Yeah. Okay. She just wants to pack a sand. We're done. Okay. So we're going to mow. Rachel's going to mow? Yeah. And then when I'm finished mowing, I'll do a little bit more. Like, I'll try to just get some stuff. I don't know how much it'll record, guys, but I don't have much to record today, so...
tiny bit older. We're done. Man, that was a long day. You worked me a lot after vacation. Boy. That was really not a long day. He's funny. Two but it was profitable. It was two and a half hours of work. Yeah, but... That's, yeah, definitely profitable. Yeah, good when, pro another good profitable. It could day. have been more profitable, but the employee didn't have enough bifen to do the bifen spray. Mm -hmm. Because I mixed the bifen with the Q. I've already looked it up. You can mix the two. And I do charge. If I'm putting bifen down and Q, I still charge an application fee for both of them. Like, it's still 75 if it's a small yard and 75 right. It's just that I can make a better profit. Um when I can put all the chemicals together yeah. and sometimes you can't put them all together and you make less of a profit. Yeah. So you just have to make sure that you're double checking your stuff. Like there was, um, something else that we were going to spray the other day. Oh, Oh, a pre-emergent. Um, but we were talking about maybe putting a pre-emergent down. Mm -hmm. or was that what it was? I don't, I, I can't quite remember. It was something I completely forgot. And I asked them at, at, um, oh, fungicide. Oh, fungicide. If I could put a liquid fungicide down with my Q and the um, bifen, and he didn't know at the uh, sod farm. So I just went with the granular fungicide instead. Right, right. Um, if you don't know, just go with what you know with and do a little bit of research. And yeah. then you can then And then find next out. time we can figure it out and, and possibly even mix all of that. So that would I mean, be you know good. the... Yeah, with that, because with the... I guess we should break down a little bit. Um, if you guys don't know, bifen is actually an insecticide. So when so... you guys put grub killer down in a granular form, this is a spray form mm -hmm. of um, it's kind of the same thing. It yeah. kills fleas, ticks, mosquitoes. Yeah, and, and it will harm pollinators yes. also. Um, so, you know, we try to, if you can spray, I think it's later in the day. Yeah. We try to, we try to much. time it. So you don't want to spray like first thing in the morning when all the pollinators are out doing their thing. Um, you know, we try to, uh, time it later and then obviously coral will stay away from actual flower. And on the it. flip side, if your lawns are less, not much clover and you don't have to, do, well, the bifen, you do have to spray everything. But if you don't have much clover and weeds in the lawn for the bees to be attracted to, then you don't really have to worry about that. I mean, if you have all grass, pollinators aren't going in your grass. No. Because there's nothing for them to go to unless you let your lawn grow 70 inches tall. Yeah. And that's why we're big believers of having, like, really pretty, nice mulch beds with flowers and For perennials. pollinators that you don't have to spray, that you don't have to put insecticides right. on. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so we're, you know, big proponents of you can have both. Um, you just, you know, have your designated areas, so. I mean, me personally, I think I like more flower areas than lawn, but I am when we build our house eventually, we are going to have a nice lawn area. Mm -hmm. But it will have more, like, wildflowers and areas like that instead. But. Yeah. So. so we're done for the day. I'm going to take you guys over to the birdhouse after this and see if the baby's got any bigger. Oh, yeah. Because um, we were gone for two days. So yeah, we'll I would think that they're going to start fledging pretty soon. Yeah, I don't now. know how long they go from their skin bodies to <laughs> feathered bodies. Yeah, <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see. I actually haven't even noticed mom and dad today, but yeah, I don't maybe, know. maybe we just haven't the noticed them. So, guys, we thank you for watching. We do appreciate it. So, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good Have night. Good night. Okay, guys. Let's see. Doesn't even look like they're in there. Maybe that is one I can't.